He were Hinch after a three-two win away at Kingstonian. Hinch must be delighted with that. Yeah, I thought at times it started to look a bit more like uh, how we expect Worthing, Worthing to play and how I want sort of one of my teams to play for longer periods of that game. It looked a bit more like us. Um, we got the ball down. We played. We believed in what we was doing. Um, and there was some. For, for a spell, we, we was unplayable. I'd say it's a bit of a quiet first half, but you must have said something to him at half time, come out flying again, 2-0 up, and it looked really, really good, back to the old Worthing ways. Yeah, it was the first 25 minutes of the, of the second half, you know, I thought it was excellent, we really moved the ball, and, um, you know, I think the players we've got, that's what we can do to us, do to teams, um, you know, if we've got that belief about us, um, but, you know, showed our vulnerable side by letting them back into the game, um, you know, Zach has a one-on-one -on -one which potentially could put us 4-0 up um, and then you see the game out and you're a bit more professional and you know without being too sort of harsh on them um, you know to, to let them get back in the game they could have possibly should have uh, uh, got an equaliser which would have been a travesty for us. A moment of brilliance from Ricky not just the finish but the way he created the opportunity as well how good was he today? Oh my word 17 years old and to boss a game like he did at times today it was uh, um, unbelievable. Like you say, uh, I thought it was one of the best goals I've seen live, to be honest, from, from an individual. It was, it was that good. Um, you know, the, when he gets into that kind of form, and I've seen that from him in the youth team, but to go and do it at this sort of stage and this level at 17 is, is remarkable. And, um, you know, it's credit to him because we know that he's got that in the locker and hopefully he can now. Um, build confidence from that, um, you know, because it's been very easy uh, without sort of patting myself on the back, but it was very easy to you know, leave him out when on a bit of a bad run. But I've got that much belief in him as a player that he's got that in the locker and, you know, just his all round game, he can um, run a game for us. After we scored, the Kingstonian sort of had two really good chances where Clayton made some unbelievable saves there. He must have been happy with how. He performed in the game as well, Clayton. Yeah, some, some massive save for us. And I'm just pleased that he got his rewards because he's, he's made some big saves for us throughout the season. Um, and, and lately, you know, he hasn't got rewarded because we haven't picked up the points. Um, so I'm just pleased that we got over the line in the end and got three points for, for him for his, for his contribution and his big saves that he made. Uh, he's been a big player and he, he was excellent again. Today. Some scary moments there at the end, but were you genuinely happy with the way the team pref uh, defended? Um, I don't know about that. Yeah, I think we've got to look at it really. It looks so naive, and I know you, we can keep on harping on about uh, the age of the side and stuff like that, but uh, we really have got to start learning from games like today. If they don't learn from that, then, you know, and, and progress and, and get better from from that and learn to see our games, you know, when it goes to 3 0, really, then, you know, we've got seven players back behind the ball, so. How they're having so many opportunities is, is beyond me. We got very narrow. Our back five come in really tight, and then they got the ball wide. And you know, our wing backs got to see it quicker and pass players on, and you know, just have a bit more whereabouts about them. But it's a good one for us to analyse as a team, good and the bad from that game. Um, and just hope now we can, unlike Brighton, and see gain a bit of momentum because um, it's a big three points. It's a tough place to go. I'm a good side. Um, you know, we've got a lot of firepower, a lot of experience. Um, so I'm just hoping we can build some momentum for Tuesday night. Adji boy, he can't take, he can't catch a break at the moment. Came off after 15 minutes. Was it the same injury? He's yeah, aggravated same, it again, or same ankle? So yeah, he's got one at that one. Um, you know, I think playing in a, a bit of a new position for him this season. He's like more inside and in like a number 10 position rather than out wide. And whether he checks his shoulder enough when he receives the ball, I don't know because he takes a lot of. Knocks like that. Maybe if he just checks and sees the where the player is, he can get his touch away from him. Um, but yeah, we're you know, on a on the negative side, just disappointed to see him go off. Our oh, waveforms is decent at the moment. Is a priority now to get Cole Shelton at home and, and to improve that home form? Yeah, definitely. Um, you know, Brighton and C and, and today were two two big away performances. Um, different sort of uh, styles that we played in both games. Um, but yeah, it's important we build momentum and start winning some home games. Um, you know, anything you get away from home should be a bonus and rely on your, on your home form. But it's, it's been too easy to play against at our place. You know, keep on getting unbelievable crowds and um, 
No, I was really disappointed on Wednesday night that we didn't entertain the crowd enough. I don't think we had a shot on target. Uh, a couple of whistled past the, the post on Wednesday and we had 40 odd fans turn up in the freezing cold. So I was really disappointed that we didn't um, entertain them enough. And I'm glad they stuck with us and we managed to put on a bit of a show. I'd just like to see it be a bit more comfortable. And finally, just to finish, Ross Edwards back in the team, got 90 minutes under his belt, a good performance? Yeah, it was, yeah. Um, you know, we've got excellent choices in that central midfield area. I thought him and Ricky um, at times got on the ball and dictated the play really well. Um, you know, for the third goal, Ross got in a tight area um, and we managed to play through him and then um, break the lines and then we was off to, to go and score. So, yeah, it's a really good performance like he's never been away and he could be a big player for us between now and the end of the season. Cheers, Mitch. That's all.